Hello, and welcome back to the Berkeley at Home Variety Show. I'm Patrick Holmes, and I hope you're having a great week. On this week's episode, we'll get tips for working from home with kids, we'll take a trip down memory lane with some graduating seniors, and listen to what's been described as a banger version of Pomp and Circumstance. But first, Frank Worrell is back to perform his original and timely song, Ain't Misbehavin'. No one to talk with, all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Ain't misbehaving, just social distancing now. I know for certain, I won't go out. No socializing, it's just you I'm thinking of. Ain't misbehaving, just social distancing now. Like Jack Horner in the corner, don't go nowhere. What do I care? Won't leave the house till COVID's gone. Believe me. My sofa's just fine, that's where I go. The house is lonely, just me and my radio. Ain't misbehaving, just social distancing now. Working from home has been challenging for many parents. We asked Chief People and Culture Officer Eugene Whitlock to share his tips for working from home with kids. My kids who are now five, four, and one, uh, the five-year-old and the four-year-old are home, the one-year-old is still in daycare, the five-year-old and the four-year-old love each other and hate each other at the same time. And so in between calls or during calls, I would have to play referee, Somebody took something from somebody, somebody was crying, the usual sibling rivalry relationship. Getting work done around all that has been incredibly exhausting, um, not just because of the, my childcare responsibilities in addition to doing work, but just so much work and the explosion of work as a result of everything that's going on around the world and on campus. And probably the hardest part of all of this is not having any time to actually think. It's a lot of read, react, read, react, and just to slow down and think and be thoughtful about things, it's hard. And when I do have time to slow down, I just want to watch TV. Most of us are having a hard time and it's completely normal to be having a hard time. The world as we know it has completely changed dramatically. We don't know when it's gonna change back to something close to what we recognize. So it's normal to be a little bit freaked out from time to time or to be freaked out a lot. And so my tip is to give yourself permission to be not okay. What are the good things for me about being home right now is that I, I actually do get to spend more time with my kids because I'm not on the road commuting. I get to be home for dinner every day. So I make, I've always been the one who does most of the cooking in my family. And so now I get it, my wife goes to pick up the kids. Now that they're at daycare and I cook dinner and come home and come home, we all, we all sit together at the table and eat dinner like I saw on TV when I was growing up. And I love being able to do that. The latest Berkeley Talks features an episode from Who Belongs? a podcast from the Othering and Belonging Institute. The episode features Aaron Carrison, an assistant professor of social welfare at Berkeley, about why she thinks the U.S. needs to dismantle capitalism and police and build a new system free of crime and punishment. So I, I think what we see with this swell, um, this social movement, if you will, around police violence, <clears throat> anchored in um, a desire to upend anti-Blackness is, is really a, a confluence of sort of stresses and a lack of tolerance from folks who just don't, they're not satisfied with the systems that are built to serve them, ideally, um, but in fact wreak havoc on their lives. So I think that's a, that's a big part of it. This is nothing new. The swelling numbers, the legions, if you will, 
Um, I think they've emerged in large part because this is a moment where folks are tired. Folks are scared and they're tired and they, they just want things to be different. I hope you'll check out the full episode. As always, you'll find a link in the description below. Band director Matt Sadowski, along with students from both the Cal Band and the UC Berkeley Wind Ensemble, created a virtual performance of Pomp and Circumstance for the Blockley commencement. Pomp and Berkumstance features one solemn verse of the tune, followed by a much more upbeat, celebratory, banger version. To create it, 50 students submitted audio and video recordings of themselves performing their parts. Following the ceremony, Sadowski and the students combined the audio track with the video files to create a tribute to the class of 2020 and to commemorate Blockley University. This spring, I had the opportunity to be a virtual fly on the wall for a meeting hosted by my colleagues in Parent and Visitor Services. I'm convinced that they have some of the best jobs on the Berkeley campus because they get to work with the amazing and talented campus ambassadors who serve as tour guides for the campus. Each year, they gather to send off their graduating seniors and hear how the program and UC Berkeley has had an impact on their lives. I'll leave you with some highlights from that event. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. I couldn't be happier to be sharing this moment with all of you. Um, truly being a campus ambassador uh, was, was the best part of, of my college career, um, most definitely. Um, I'd like to thank so many people about everything. My favorite part about this job has been the people. Thank you to all of our staff uh, for making this a really fun job 
and I think definitely one of my most uh, memorable times here at Berkeley. Because let's be honest here, um, the Campus Ambassadors are one of the gems of the Cal campus, uh, and I stand by that for sure. The people that you A, meet, and the people that you get to work with, B, are just the best on the planet. Um, literally, like, the groups that you get to tour are always going to be fantastic. The visitors that come from all over are the best, and you have the opportunity to show them around the best place on Earth, literally. Sorry, Disneyland, but it's us. Now, like, I can trust and believe that, you know, that I'm loved, as it, in part because of this job. This job has definitely been the most life-changing job that I've ever had, and, and I say that because I've met all of you amazing people, um, but also just grown like professionally in so many ways. And, and I had no idea, you know, my freshman year, as I was standing there in my audition, I was holding a paintbrush talking about how I would want to help people paint, you know, their future at Berkeley. Um, I just had no idea <laughs> how, how amazing it was going to be.